Hi, and welcome to uh, lesson 4.1, the guided practice questions, numbers 1 through 8. Uh, here we go. Uh, you can see all the answers, but I'm going to explain how to arrive at each of those answers now. Braden enters bike races. He bikes 8.5 miles every half hour. That's what's right here. Uh, complete the table to find how far Brandon bikes each time interval. So for here, uh, we could have, um, well, let's take a look at the unit rate. And that's what this is right here. This right here is the unit rate because it's per one hour. Okay. Now to get that unit rate, I'm going to move aside here. And uh, for number one, number one unit rate, we have uh, eight and a half per one half hour. Now we really want it to be per hour and probably the easiest way to look at this right now is if I double that that's for an hour so I'd have to double this right here and eight and a half times two that is uh, 17 and so that's why right here it's 17 now to get one and a half I could do this a couple ways I could triple the one half to get to one and a half that means I'd have to triple the eight and a half and uh, so maybe I just do eight and one half times three. Uh, there's a few ways of doing that. Maybe I would just take this as a improper fraction, 17 halves. I got that by uh, multiplying eight times two is 16 plus one is 17. So 17 halves times three. And that's 17 times three, what's, uh, is that 51? Yes, it's 51 over two which is uh, 25 and a half. And that's how you get this 25 and a half right there. How, let's, let me erase some of this stuff here. How do you get uh, the two right, uh, two, the 34? Well, if you double the one, then you have to double the 17 and 17 times two is 34. And then what do we have here? Two and a half. Well, let's see, how can we get two and a half? Well, one half times five is two and a half. So I'd have to multiply the eight and a half times five. Uh, so let's see, eight and one half times five over one. Eight and a half is, again, 17 halves times five over one. What, that's five, that's 85 over two which is, uh, what, 44 and a half? 42 and a half. Oh, yeah, yeah, 42 and a half. So that's equal to 42 and one half. And that's how we get this last number right there. Okay, on to number two. Uh, Julio, uh, find the unit rate. If he walks three and a half miles in one and a quarter hours, that'd be three and a half divided by one and one fourth. And I'll show you what that looks like. I'll erase all this other stuff here. And these are mixed numbers, so it's good to create uh, improper fractions. So three and one half divided by one and one fourth. That would be what seven halves divided by five fourths, and that is seven halves times four fifths. I could cross cancel. You could divide both of these by two. Two divided by two is one. And uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2, so that ends up being 7 times 2 is 14, over 1 times 5 is 5. 5 goes into 14 uh, 2 times with 4 left over, 4 fifths, and that's how we get 2 and 4 fifths. Number uh, 3. Ooh, I'll do number 3 over here. So number 3, that would be 5 eighths divided by 2 thirds. 5 eighths divided by two thirds. So that's five eighths times three halves because you have to flip the second fraction. I can't cross cancel anything. So that's 15 out of 16. Hey, there you go, 15 sixteenths. Then we go over here to number four and that's one sixth divided by a third. So for number four, one sixth divided by one third. That would be 1 6 times 3 over 1. 
And 1 times 3 is 3, 6 times 1 is 6, and 3 6 uh, simplifies to 1 half, and that's how you get 1 half. Number 5 is um, number 5. Uh, 5 eighths divided by a fourth. 5 eighths divided by 1 fourth. So that's 5 eighths times 4 over 1. Uh, you can cross cancel in this one. You can divide each of these by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And then you multiply 5 times 1 and 2 times 1. And then making this a mixed number means you have, uh, what, 2 goes into 5 2 times with 1 left over, 2 and a half. And number 6. Okay, we have to find the unit rate for both uh, brand A and brand B. So I'll do um, number 6 for A. We have 240 milligrams per one-third pickle. That means it's 240 divided by one-third, which is 240 over 1 times 3 over 1. And 240 times 3 is 720 over 1, which leaves us to 720. And for B, I'll use the blue. That is 325 uh, divided by 1 half, which is 325 divided by 1 half, which is the same as 325 over 1 times 2 over 1, which is uh, 650. Over 1, of course. But when it's over 1, you just say, eh, it's 650, which is what we have here in the answer. Okay, number 7. Number 7. Uh, again, ingredient C says so for 7. Ingredient C you have um, one fourth divided by two thirds for that unit rate, which is one fourth times three halves. And that's going to be three over eight. Boom, three eighths. And then for D, I'll put it in, um, I'll put it in green. Uh, D, that is uh, one third divided by three fourths, which is one third times four thirds, which is four ninths. And that's what's given right there. Finally, uh, this is the big idea here. And how can you find the unit rate when given a rate? And this is so important. You divide the number in the numerator by the number in the denominator. Uh, write the result of the units of the rate. For example, uh, uh, the numerator divided by the denominator. Uh, one divided by one half. It's one divided by one half, which is two miles per hour. And just to show you that real quick, one, oh, let me do this here. One, oops, yeah, one divided by one half is one times two over one, which is two over one, which is just two. So that's how we get the uh, two right there. All right. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I hope it's been helpful. Bye.